Thanks for coming back. In this video, we'll be discussing some steps to applying for the Labor Market Impact Assessments, also known as the LMIA. First of all, there has been some changes in this. It used to be known as the LMO, Labor Market Opinion, now changed to LMIA, known as Labor Market Impact Assessment. So that's the first change. Um, second, the change of the government fees it used to be $275. They've now increased it to $1,000. So you want to be mindful of that when you do submit that application. Also, they've included something called the Transitional Plan for High Wage Positions. What this really is, and I'll just read it to you um, and explain, Employees offering a wage to a temporary foreign worker that is at or above the medium hourly wage will be required to submit a transitional plan. So basically, if you're an employer and you're offering a position to a temporary foreign worker, um, to a temporary foreign worker, either the prevailing wage or above the prevailing wage, so the wage that you have to pay or above that, then you want to include a transitional plan. And in this transitional plan, the importance of it is to show how you are going to make efforts as an employer to train and recruit permanent residents and Canadian citizens for that position. Okay, so the purpose of the transitional plan is to identify the activities an employer is agreeing to undertake to recruit, retrain, to recruit and train Canadian permanent residents and to assist a temporary foreign worker to becoming permanent resident. So essentially, it's transitioning the temporary foreign worker as well as making efforts to getting Canadians and permanent residents into that particular position. 